Hi everyone. We're going to talk about rational um, functions and find five things here. We're going to find points of discontinuity, vertical and horizontal asymptotes, and domain and range. Okay. Um, points of discontinuity are also known as holes. So if you see something on the holes, that means the same thing. So the first thing you want to do is, we're given an equation here. I went ahead and took the liberty of factoring. So you, the first thing you want to do is always factor. The second thing you always want to do, and I'm getting this from a, a student gave me this sheet to work on. So um, this is how the sheet was laid out. Uh, the first thing you want to do really is the domain. And the domain can't be uh, the denominator can't be zero. We cannot divide by zero. So what would make this um, um, zero? That would be x is 3, because if it's 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, and 0 times 5 would be 0. So basically, and the way I write domain is this way. We want it to be all real numbers, but in this case, it cannot be 3 and x cannot be negative 2. Because if you plug those in, you're going to be dividing by 0, and you can't do that. All right. Now, let's go back up to the point of discontinuity. In this case, we do have a point of discontinuity or a hole because you can uh, cancel these factors. So what you do is you set um, the factor to 0 and solve for x. So x would be negative 2. So our x is negative 2, and we have our depressed equation is here. Our depressed equation. You plug in negative 2 to get your y. So when you plug in negative 2, we're going to get negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2 minus 3. So that's 2 over negative 5. So our y is negative 2 fifths. Now your horizontal asymptote has to do with the degree um, of the polynomial. So in the numerator, the degree is 2. The denominator is 2. Since the degrees are the same, you divide by the lead coefficients. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Now, the vertical asymptote is, um, has to do with both the domain and the hole, or the point of discontinuity. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Normally, we would have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2 as well. So basically, these two always go together. But in this case, we can't use that because we have a hole at negative 2. All right? The range always has to do with the horizontal asymptote. So the range is all real numbers. However, y cannot be 1 because there's a horizontal asymptote there. Okay, so the, I have a total of eight problems I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'm going to go a little faster um, and right when I'm doing this. So you can pause the video if you need. Okay, the next one, we have a rational function. I went ahead and factored it. I'm going to go ahead and do the domain first. The domain is all, and it depends on your teacher how she wants you to write the domain. X cannot be 4 and X cannot be 1. Now I'm going to go back up to the point of discontinuity. Since we can factor out, um, we can cancel these factors. We do have a point of discontinuity at 1. And to get the y, you plug it into the depressed equation or reduced uh, function. So that's going to be 9 over negative 3, and that equals negative 3. Our vertical asymptote is at x equals 4, 
it can't be one because we have a discontinuity there. So these two usually go together. In this case, uh, we split up our domain there. The horizontal asymptote is the same as the previous one. Since our degrees are just the same, you divide the lead coefficients. So that's just going to be y equals 1. Therefore, my range is y, um, let us write that, y cannot be 1. So these two always go together. The horizontal and the range go together. The ver and the, these three go together. All right, next one. Um, in this case, my domain is x cannot be, it's all real numbers, but x can't be 5, and x cannot be negative 1. All right? I'm going to, I do have a point of discontinuity because I can uh, cancel these factors at x equals 5. And when I plug in 5 here, I get 2 over 6, which is 1 third. So there's our point of discontinuity. The degree in the numerator is uh, smaller than the degree in the denominator. Anytime that happens, our horizontal asymptote is y equals y, uh, 0. That means my range is y cannot be 0. Again, these two always go together. I have to split my vertical asymptote is going to be um, this piece right here because this piece was is, went to the point of discontinuity. So we have x equals negative 1. Next one. <coughs> I factored, and I forgot to write these things down here. So we have horizontal, vertical, domain, and range. First thing we're going to do is the domain. So the domain is always your x part. x cannot be negative 6. x cannot be negative 2. Um, we don't have a point of discontinuity, so I'm just going to put in slash a for not applicable. My degrees are the same here, so I just divide the lead coefficients. So that's just going to be y equals 1. That means my range is all real numbers, but y cannot, it, it could be anything but 1. Your vertical asymptote is just this, but it can equal it. So we have our vertical asymptote at x equals negative 6, and x equals negative 2. All right. Next, um, we have our domain is x is everything, but x cannot be negative 3, x cannot be 6. We do have a point of discontinuity at negative 3. And when I plug it into my reduced or my depressed equation, I'm going to get negative 6 over negative 9, which equals 1 third. Um, my degrees are the same, so I divide my lead coefficient, so y equals 1. That means my range is everything but y can't be 1. And my vertical asymptote the only thing I can um, use is this, because we have a point of discontinuity at x equals negative, at negative 3 here. So it's x equals 6. And here, um, my domain is everything, all real numbers, but x cannot be negative 3, and x cannot be 1. This sign here is the inclusion sign. It means um, um, x is in the field of all real numbers. <coughs> okay, so we do have a point of discontinuity at x equals negative 3. I'm going to plug in negative 3 here, and I get negative 7 for negative 4, which is 7 fourths for my y. 
That's when you're setting this to Y. Your horizontal asymptote are the degrees are the same. So I just divide my lead coefficients. So Y equals 2. That means my range is every uh, all real numbers, but Y cannot be 2. My vertical asymptote is at X equals 1. And two more. Um, my domain is all real numbers, but X cannot be negative 3. Uh, squiggly line. Uh, I don't have a point of discontinuity because I don't have a fact any factors to cancel. Um, my horiz my horizontal asymptotes. Um, my degrees are the the same, so I just divide. So I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals one half. Divide the lead coefficients there. Therefore, my vertical asymptote is just this but equals x equals negative 3 and then my range comes from here and it's all real numbers such that y cannot be uh, 1 half so it's just everything but 1 half the last one actually is the easiest one the domain is x can't be, it's all real numbers, but it can't be 5. There's no factors to cancel out. The degree in the numerator, in this case, I could write this as x to the 0. Remember, x to the 0 equals 1. So, uh, this is smaller than the degree in the denominator. Anytime it's smaller, it's just y equals 0. Therefore, my range is y is all real numbers, but y cannot be 0. And my vertical asymptote is just x equals 5. And that's all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.